Hey guys, Greg here. Let's solve baseball game at Code 682. So we are keeping the scores for a baseball game with very strange rules. At the beginning of the game, you start with an empty record. So we are given a list of strings called operations, where each operations at i is the ith operation that you must apply to the record, and it's one of the following. So if it's an integer x, by the way, it's still a string, it's just like a number as a string. If it's an integer x, we record a new score of x. If it is plus, we record a new score, that is the sum of the previous two scores. If it is capital D, we record a new score, that is the double of the previous score. And if it is C, we invalidate the previous score and we remove it from the record. Okay, so we need to return the sum of all of the scores on the record after applying all of these operations. So let's take a look here. If we have 5, 2, C, D plus, 5 is the integer 5, 2 is the integer 2, we have C that is actually going to invalidate and remove the previous score. And so basically we had five and two, now we just had five. We have D, which is going to add two times five equals 10 to the record. And so the record had five before, and now it also has 10, which is five times two. And then we do a plus because there is two previous records. We basically add a new record of five plus 10. So our final record here at the end is five, 10, and 15. And then after we are done all the operations here, we need to sum up all of the values that are left on the record. And so that is five plus 10 plus 15, which is equal to 30. I know it's some pretty strange baseball rules, but let's check this out. Okay, so record itself is basically a stack. And so this is going to grow and append over to the right here. So the right is gonna be the top of the stack. So when we see an integer, we're just going to put that on the top of the stack. So we have five, and then we move on to negative two. We see another integer, we are just going to put that or append that to the stack. We see another integer four, we are again going to put that onto the stack, and we see a C. So C, if you remember, basically invalidates what is at the top here. So it says, no, 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 you were wrong about this. We are invalidating this record. That is a pop, so that is really just a stack or record.pop. And so we take that off and we do nothing else. We see a D here, and so that is going to add a new record, which is double the previous record. So we add a new record of negative two times two, which is negative four. Over here, we have a nine, and so we simply just add a nine. We are going to do a plus, so that is going to add a new record, not pop these off here. It's going to add a new record, which is the sum of the previous two. So the sum of the previous two is five, so we add a five. And the very end here, we are going to, again, add the previous two. That is just going to add a 14 here. Okay, so we are through all of our operations here, and we just want the sum of the records. We return that value, and that is 27. Okay, so we'll make our record, which I'm just going to call stack as a stack. It's going to be an empty list and we'll say for each op in the operations each of these are a string Even the integer ones. They're still strings So we'll need to cast that if the operation is equal to a plus So if we are doing a division then we need to append to the stack the top of the stack Which is stack at negative one. That's just the last index of our list here so The top of the stack plus the thing second to the top of the stack So the sum of the previous two values we will append that to the stack. Okay, so that's plus dealt with. Otherwise, if the operation is equal to a capital D, that means we want to have a new record, which is the double of the previous. So we want stack.append the top of the stack, stack at negative one times two. Otherwise, if the operation is a capital C here, that means we want to invalidate the previous record as in the top of the stack. That is literally just a stack.pop. And then otherwise, if we've passed all of these rules, we know it's not plus D or C. That way we know it is an integer. And this way we can avoid kind of the try catch thing of like seeing if we can cast it to an int. Here we've seen all of the other possibilities. Here we know it's going to be able to cast to an integer. So we can do stack.append the integer of the operation. If the operation was just a number, then we we're going to put that at the top of the stack with an append. Okay, and then at the end here, we just want to return the sum of the stack. By the way, if you have an empty list, the sum of an empty list is actually zero. And we'll see that in a moment. So if we submit that and run that, that will work. Okay, so the time and space complexity of this, the time we are definitely just looping through the operations, the append and pop, we're doing that from the end of the list. And so an append and pop at the end of a dynamic array, that is actually on average a constant thing to do. So we're really just looping through the operations. And so that's O of N and the space complexity 
of this, this is also going to be a big O of N solution because imagine if we just didn't have any C's, D's, or pluses. If you were given literally just a bunch of records here, well then you're storing all of the records. And so in the worst case, you could have N stuff as well. Okay, so that's our answer. I hope this was helpful guys. Drop a like if it was and have a great day. Bye-bye.